Hello, I'm Dr. Mark Shamblin. I'm an orthopedic surgeon at Southern California Orthopedic Institute. I specialize in sports medicine and treatment of the injured athlete. In this video, I'll be speaking to you about injuries to the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is made up of four muscles that surround the shoulder joint. A rotator cuff tear can occur in any one of these muscles, leading to pain, weakness, and inability to use the shoulder appropriately. Rotator cuff tears can occur acutely, such as with a fall or lifting something heavy, or they can occur over time with chronic wear and tear. Oftentimes, rotator cuff tears lead to pain and weakness within the shoulder, difficulty sleeping at night, or performing activities at or above shoulder level. Rotator cuff tears can be diagnosed clinically with a history and physical, or they can be diagnosed using imaging modalities such as MRI or ultrasound. Rotator cuff tears can be treated conservatively with physical therapy or more aggressively with surgery. Surgeries can either be open or arthroscopic. Arthroscopic is performed through a series of small incisions with the advantage of less trauma to the surrounding musculature. The post-operative course of rotator cuff repairs is a little complex. The patient will likely be in a sling for up to six weeks with simple exercises being taught to him by the physician, followed by physical therapy for likely three to six months. To learn more about rotator cuff tears and treatment options, please visit our website at scoi.com.